My name is Richard Ruff. I'm Father Patrick Bykowskis. My name is Beth Tucker. I'm a professor at Purdue University, which is in Indiana, near the city of Chicago. I'm the pastor and director of campus ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas, the Catholic Center at Purdue University. I'm from Purdue University, West Lafayette, Indiana. I'm a professor of political science, but my primary area of expertise is international relations. I was approached by the Niagara Foundation earlier in the year uh, to come to Turkey to visit uh, Turkey and see uh, an, an incredible expanse of Turkey from the extraordinary beauty of the uh, natural uh, countryside to the extraordinary structures and mosques uh, and to visit schools and to meet with Turkish families. It's been a truly remarkable experience. Uh, there was a uh, uh, an event where they wanted to share some of the culture of their uh, country with members of the St. Thomas Parish, an event where they provided Noah's pudding um, after all the masses and in that um, situation and they, they engaged our parishioners, talked about the Niagara Foundation, talked about Turkey. And so that's how I first became acquainted with them. And then very shortly after that, um, came to know them through uh, the dinner that they hosted. Well, through some Turkish students at Purdue, um, I run a weekly program called Globe, Global Cafe and we had some Turkish students come and also people from the Niagara Foundation came and gave a presentation and I thought it would be great to be able to join a trip like that someday if I had a chance, so. Uh, you know, the, the thing I think is most impressive when we, a couple of times when we've had dinner with families, they talk about their experience with the Gulen movement and to, to see and uh, understand and the, the sort of sacrifices that people are willing to make, it was very moving. And, you know, especially in our country, in the United States, it's so important for us to understand another face of the Muslim people um, because there's so many tensions. We, we see things in the news that I think can be uh, very uh, distorting of what the reality is. The reality is very different. You know, there's, there's people that, um, who put their families first and um, you know, very much like you know, you know, people in the United States, um, and that you can't, you can never get just reading about it or, or, you know, or watching on television to experience it and see how devoted these people are to their families and to the furtherance of really wonderful ideals, ideals that we embrace in the United States as well. So yes, I absolutely would recommend it to, to other people. I would recommend this trip to any individual who had been invited uh, by the Niagara Foundation. Um, because this trip is affording the, the individual seeing uh, and participating in the trip to see an extraordinary array of life in Turkey. It is just a magnificent country to visit as a tourist. But the Niagara Foundation affords individuals who have been invited to see a very different slice of the country because we are we've been hosted by uh, individuals in their private homes and these individuals have a, come from a variety of backgrounds these are not necessarily Turkish elites some of them are more mo of more modest uh, backgrounds and we're really truly learning about the Turkish society this sort of intercultural experience is so incredibly valuable for peoples of the world to see how other peoples live because uh, for example uh, here we are visiting Turkey in the summer of 2013 and there have been protests in Turkey uh, political protests and I now have a very different understanding of the protests by actually visiting the country I can I can see uh, that as a political scientist simply to read a simply to read an American newspaper or to read, uh, uh, listen to cable news, there's a very different understanding of what the challenges are and the opportunities for Turkey by, by actually being in the country. It's really been fantastic. It's been eye-opening. It's been um, being able to see kind of the whole panorama of sites like this one here in Cappadocia to um, Trap Zone and I think probably the highlight for me has been meeting families and seeing how people live and what makes them tick and 
hearing their stories, I would recommend this trip. It was very eye-opening and, um, you know, I think now I'll want to know more um, after being here and so I'll look forward to more opportunities to interact with my Turkish friends.